Hi, it's Susan from Sunrise Quilt Studio. I am working on the second double wedding ring quilt and I am having a little bit of issue with fullness. Not near what I had on the last quilt, but I am having a little bit. And I want to show you um, what I did about this one. Now what, basically I'll just tell you what I did and then I'll show you some footage of that. But what I did was or what we normally do when we quilt, or at least what I do, is I work from left to right in a row. So um, for each pass of the machine, each pass of the quilt by the machine, I'm going left to right. Um, and what that kind of does is it pushes your fabric from the left to the right. And I was noticing getting more and more fullness to the right of the quilt than what I had on the left. So what I did on my next row was I started in the middle of the row and I worked my way out stabilizing the quilt as I went. And this is in the stabilizing process. This is the routine I have when I quilt a quilt is I stabilize it before I do the detail quilting. I'm not, I don't usually start at the top and work my way to the bottom like a lot of quilters do. Um, I stabilize. So. Um, and that's the process that I'm in right now. So um, I'm stabilizing, but instead of going from left to right stabilizing, I'm starting in the middle of the row, working my way out, advancing the quilt, starting in the middle of that row and working my way out. So that seems to be taking care of some of the issues that I'm having. So I wanted to show you what I mean by that. And um, so stay tuned. Okay, here you can see part of the quilt. And what I'm finding is when I'm quilting, fabric is getting pushed, which is, you'll see that more predominantly when you're doing a pantograph. The, your fabric kind of gets pushed to the right. Um, this is also happening when I'm stabilizing this quilt. And what I'm doing is I am stitching in the ditch around the ovals and around these pieces here. And I was finding, by the time I got to the middle of the quilt, I was dealing with more fullness than what I felt should be there because this quilt lays pretty flat when I have it laid out and so I didn't think I should be having that so what I decided what was happening was just as I was quilting fabric is being shoved and pushed over to the right and that was creating um, the fullness and um, so what I'm doing is when I advance the row instead of starting at the very left I am starting in the center of the quilt and then I am stabilizing out on each side and so I start here I'll do then I'll do the left side then I'll do the right then the left and then the right and then I just keep going back and forth and that may take a little bit longer but I am not having to fuss with all of that fullness now so I think that helped quite a bit on this quilt now it may not work on every quilt um, I don't think it would have worked on that previous um, double wedding ring because that quilt was just not in as good a shape as this one so it had a lot more fullness than I think could have been dealt with you know if you have an issue where you're finding fullness is going to be an issue try stabilizing your blocks from the center of the, the row and working out and I'm, I'm not talking about starting in the middle of your quilt and working up and down I'm talking about as you advance each row start in the middle of your row and work out and then advance your quilt and go down to your next row and do the same thing start in the center and work your way out and see if that might help thanks for watching for more quilting ideas click on the video links and to keep up with my newest projects click on the subscribe button i hope to see you again soon